What's up everybody, it's Sharkmaster3 here and uh, back with a new video and uh, today I am going to talk about my favorite splatter movies. Now I'm just so goddamn lazy that I haven't even um, I haven't really even counted all of them so I'm just going to do that right now so you can just skip a little bit in the video so you can see so we won't get bored so yeah. Yeah, this, this is going to be my top 10 splatter movies and uh, of course I've prob probably uh, forgot some movies uh, but those of, you, those of you know any other splatter movies that I forgot about uh, in this video just leave a comment down below and uh, I'll check them out or yeah whatever. So uh, first off on the number 10 spot we got the Norwegian splatter movie Dead Snow. Love this movie. It's about a pe It's about <laughs> people. It's about a group of teenagers, sort of teenagers, uh, who goes out to the. Really like go skiing and uh, stuff like that, and uh, suddenly there are nasty zombies trying to kill them off, and uh, it's a fucking great movie. I can recommend it to everyone. We like Splatter. Um, I think it's a very good movie for a Norwegian movie. Um, but yeah, a really good movie. That's now really looking forward to see the second one as well. And then we got the movie which I've watched more and more and more, uh, and I like it even more every time I watch it. And the movie is Alien vs Ninja, and I've talked about this movie in my, some of my previous videos as well. Um, the first half of the movie is a little bit boring, but after that it just gets better and better and funnier and funnier and more and more weird. So, uh, yeah, I love this movie. It's funny and entertaining as hell. It's about a group of ninjas who discovers that they are not alone in the forest and that there is an alien out there. But the alien turns out to be more aliens, if you know understand what I mean. So, uh, yeah. Ridiculous, but still so goddamn funny. Alien vs. Ninja. And then we got the classic Spectre movie, which I think all of you already know about. I'm not really going to go that deep, that deep into it. Uh, but the movie is Brain Dead, also known as Dead Alive in the US, I believe. The lawn mover scene. An enough said. Yeah. Now I have trouble counting down once again. Number seven, we got um, the Swedish spider movie, Evil Ed. Fucking love this movie, and I'm just so goddamn proud to be Swedish while watching this. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's just highly, highly recommended. It's about this guy called Edward, and he's working as an editor uh, on a film uh, he make. By, with films and so on, but he edits more, um, should I say, mainstream movies or whatever. Uh, but he gets another job with uh, editing horror movies. That he has to cut out these violent things in horror movies and so on. But every time he gets more and more deeper into the horror uh, elements and so on, or the horror um, editing, he gets psycho and he just goes nuts and uh, wants to kill people and wants to fix their brains. So uh, yeah, Evil Ed, funny as hell and entertaining as hell as well. Great quotes as well in that movie. And then number six is a movie which I haven't seen in a long time but I need to rewatch it and the movie is Stuart Gordon's Reanimator. Not going to say anything else about this because I already know all of you already know everything about this movie, so uh, yeah, Reanimator. And then we have another Peter Jackson movie on this list, and you already know what the movie is, and it is Bad Taste. Entertaining as hell, funny as hell, so ridiculous, and I don't need anything else to say about it, because all of you already know about it. And then we got number what is this? 
sort it for this. Number four is a movie which I actually like more than Tokyo Gore, Gore Police. I like Tokyo Gore Police, but this is just much more entertaining in my opinion and uh, has a much better story in some way in my opinion as well. And the movie is called Machine Girl. And if, for those of you who play like video games and so on, doesn't this remind you of Sa Samus uh, Auron from the Metroid Prime series? It, doesn't, it definitely does that for me. Um, and now when I think about it, I remember that I forgot the movie in this list. But it gets an honorable mention. Yakuza Weapon with Tak Sakaguchi. Um, also gets an honorable mention, but yeah. Now I'm going to talk about this movie. This is about uh, this girl. I don't remember her name. It was Amis. Amis, not really sure how to pronounce it in Japanese, but... Her uh, brother gets killed by bullies and uh, the hell breaks loose. Um, she wants to get revenge and kill the bullies and uh, she gets her arm cut off and you think, oh, she's done, she's dead. But she gets this uh, machine, machine gun arm or whatever you want to call it attached to her, yeah, where the arm got cut off. So, uh, yeah. Great gore, really entertaining. It was funny, but in some sort of way, it was still a serious movie. I'm pretty sure. I, I, it's very wrong to say it's a serious movie when it's uh, made by uh, Sushi Typhoon, I believe. So, yeah, I can't be so wrong about that. But it was a while since I saw it, but I really like it. So, yeah, Machine Girl. And then at number three is a movie I, I haven't loved so much in years when I watched this for the first time. Uh, I've talked about it before, so I'm just not going to talk that much about it, but the movie is Dead Sushi. This is hilarious. It's about flying sushis just trying to eat people and it's just so goddamn fun. It's even one sushi that has a, has a flamethrower attached to it, so... <laughs> so ridiculous and so funny at the same time. And this is probably one of my favorite Japanese comedies of all time. Uh, because it's not meant to be a serious movie and it's so it's not meant to be taken serious and so on, but it's so entertaining and yeah. Can I never get tired of it? And then we got a movie which includes samurais, a lot of gunfights and uh, blood and guts and gore and yeah, you name it. And it's so good and cool as well. Uh, very well made and uh, yeah, the movie is Versus. I talked about this movie so much in all of my other videos as well. So I'm not going to go that more in deep into it. So uh, yeah, Versus. Check it out if you haven't seen it. And then we have a movie which I... I'm, I've just seen this movie once and it was just like two months ago or something like that and um, it's so ridiculous as well and funny and uh, the gore and this is fucking awesome and uh, yeah what do you know the movie is Story of Ricky also known as Ricky O this comes with the manga version as, version as well but I haven't seen that one yet but uh, I actually watched this actually comes with the original uh, soundtrack and the English dub uh, and I just had to watch it with the English dub because it's so much more funny to watch it in the English dub than the original language because there's a scene which I've talked about before where this guy, the main guy, Ricky, uh, he, he and another guy that he's like facing in a, in a big fight uh, this guy tries to stra strangle uh, Ricky with his own intestines, so uh, <laughs> it's so kind of funny. And then this like uh, leader of this uh, camp or whatever comes f comes forward and says, "Oh, you have a lot of guts there." <laughs> it's so good and funny. So if you haven't seen this, check it out. It's funny as hell and entertaining as hell as well. So um, yeah. 
Rikio, Story of Ricky, highly, highly recommended. So glad to have that movie in my collection. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and didn't get bored. And uh, like I said before, let me know which movies I missed in this uh, top 10 video and uh, yeah, and so on. And I uh, hope you enjoyed and didn't get bored and hope to see you again as soon as possible. So see you next time. Bye bye.